Good morning! Welcome to Catch and Dinner. It is the week of Thanksgiving and we are preparing turkey wild style. So there's just a few ingredients that you need in order to prepare these turkey thighs. A lot of people don't cook them or they don't know how to cook them in a way that makes them not so tough and we have found the perfect way. So these thighs instead of being really tough, I mean it's just melt in your mouth tender. So the few ingredients that you'll need are some turkey thighs. This is bouillon stock. I use the uh, vegetarian one, but you can use chicken or beef, any kind of stock really. And then you have to have enough that the turkey thighs are going to be covered. So I did eight cups. You need a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. some onion and garlic and that's really it all right so step number one is to brown your onion and your garlic typically i use fresh garlic and i would have the fresh garlic in there right now with the onion but i didn't have any fresh garlic today so i'm using minced garlic from this jar here so i'm not going to put it in right away or it would burn before the onion brown nice so I'm just starting by browning the onion, then I'm going to add the garlic, brown it just a little bit, and then I'm going to take some of this turkey, add it in and brown it in just a moment. I will show you that. All right, so I just added the garlic, and I'm about to add some turkey. I'm going to do the thighs first. So I'm just going to throw them in. So you're not trying to cook this at all, you're just trying to get it nice and brown before putting it in the crock pot. And some people skip this step, you don't have to brown it first, but it does bring out the flavor a little bit more. So I've tried it both ways and I like it browned. And so that's just about all you have to do. Yeah. And then. I'm just going to throw this in the crock pot with the onion and the garlic and then I saved some to do the leg. We're going to do the legs the same exact way yep. and then we're going to throw those in the crock pot too and we'll show you the next step. Okay, so all the turkey is browned. I'm just going to transfer them to the pot with the thighs. See, it's not cooked. It's just nicely browned on each side. And in it goes, just like that. Add the onion so the... and the garlic. Put the thighs first, and then the legs after. And there's still plenty of space. Pretty big. Uh, this is an eight quart instant pot. And it has a slow cooker function. So that's what we're going to use. Okay, so now you just take your bouillon stock, pour it on top. You want to make sure that all the meat is covered. Otherwise, it kind of dries out. Yeah. And then you oh. just add a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Whatever slow cooker you have will work. We used to do the regular slow cooker until I got this Instant Pot. And so basically, I put it on slow cook and it's on high. I'm gonna put it on for, let's say five hours on high, and then it's gonna keep warm. If we're not here and ready, it'll just uh, stay in there until we're back. And when we take it out, we will show you how delicious it looks. All right, we had our turkey legs cooking all day while we were at work. I think I did five hours on high, and then I set it for three and a half on low, and then keep warm until we got home from work. 
So it ended up cooking pretty much all day. So it should be pretty tender and should come right off. And basically, I just kind of shred the meat into pieces. Not too small, but uh, yeah, it's just to make nice. sure there's no bullets too. Sometimes it could be bullets by shredding it a little bit. Decre nice and moist. Oh yeah. And tender. It smells delicious. phenomenal. And it's just uh, uh, some of the pieces will leave bigger because some of this is for Thanksgiving, but uh, yeah. But yeah, this is it. I so mean, that's the finished product. If some we were nice gonna make sandwiches yeah i would maybe shred it a little bit more right because i don't like big chunks in my sandwich if we we're just going to put right. it on the sandwich or if we were going to add barbecue sauce and yep. do our uh pulled yeah. pulled pork but yeah pulled, pulled turkey yeah. or pulled goose yeah. it's very good if you just add barbecue sauce to your liking you're ready to go i mean you just you know like a house and said just you know smaller pieces but uh bottom line is the same thing as we're doing now but for Thanksgiving, you know, we're going to serve it on a plate with all the traditional sides. Yep. So it's okay to leave them in bigger yeah. chunks. But it's so very, I'm not yeah. going to shred it too much. But it's very tender. As you can see, this meat would have been so tough if you cooked it normally. But now, it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, this they're is very, very uh, tender. It's falling off the bone, basically. And uh, so this is the upper part. The lower part, the actual drumstick. I'll do that as, one next. Yeah, as a lot of little stringy, I don't know what they're called, they're bones basically. Yeah. And that, a little different bones. than your typical turkey. You know? But uh, it's very good. You just have to go through the process of removing those little bones. So, yeah, this is mm -hmm. meat just from one. I mean, that's just from this yeah. upper Let part of grab. one thigh. I'm going to grab a leg and right. show you that. Alright. So now this is the, uh, the lower part. Drumstick. Yeah, comes, all falls apart. And it's the skin that's holding it there. But it's pretty quick. So it's really easier with the hands with these bones. So this is what he was talking about. See, this is just some skin. This is good meat attached to the skin. So I'm going to pull that off. Because all that meat tastes good. But see, this is some, some of these bones that I'm going to pull out. Yeah, those are the ones, yeah. See these guys? I mean, literally, they just yeah, they'll come, come right out. But... Yeah, pretty uh, long, skinny bones. There's a lot of them. Yeah, I'm not sure why the domestic turkeys, I don't remember seeing that in domestic turkeys, so I don't know, they might have uh, bred them to, uh, you know, get rid of that somehow. Couldn't say, but, but either way. Meat's excellent, you just have to go through that extra step. But the good thing about it, even though there's all those bones, the good thing is that the meat just... Yeah, comes over. right off of them. Yeah. I mean, this meat, oh my gosh, I wish I wish that video was such that you could smell this and that you could taste it. So, we got all three legs, all the meat off the bone and this is the end product, zoom just in? a big, huge yeah. bucket yeah. of delicious, wild, tender, juicy turkey, yeah. dark meat that is going to be the main course of our Thanksgiving meal. So don't forget, if you're enjoying these videos and you want to see more how to cook some awesome dishes with your wild game, then just Click uh, like below, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll be back for more. See you next time.